more than just pit bulls. Any dog has teeth. You know, even chihuahuas. Some chihuahuas are more feisty than pit bulls. So, yeah, it's all up to the owner. Any dog has the potential to bite. But no one can ever replace Dax. Two people with personal stories supporting opposing sides on lifting Denver's pit bull ban. First Denver City Council member Chris Herndon. One particular dog I grew up with is Rottweilers. And some people might say that that is a dangerous breed. But from my experience, I've recognized that it's actually not the breed of the dog, it's how it's raised. But the two pit bulls that killed um, our grandson um, were raised by a loving family. Sharon Saharsky says pit bulls attacked and killed her 14 month old grandson, Daxton. They basically, you know, broke his spine. What else can you do? They were loved, the dogs were loved. So I get so tired of hearing, you know, it's how the dogs are raised. What are we even teaching our young kids? It's okay because eventually somebody will change the rules to do what you want them to do. You know, and I'd hate to have another family go through this. Mark Frazier is trying to figure it out. What could have triggered his dog to attack? Attack his wife, Angela Smith. It was so vicious, she died. He says he never saw it coming. I left out the house. I just left out the house for just 15 minutes and I come back. She was dead. Frazier says he got Kane as a puppy eight years ago from a relative. He says the dog was well trained, well behaved. The owner tells me he knows pit bulls have a violent reputation, but he's still surprised something like this involving his dogs has now happened. My dogs were not for fighting, they were family dogs, they're indoor dogs. I have a two year old daughter, five year old son, six year old son, and a 13 year old son that play with them. They've been with them since they were puppies, you know, so it, it really kind of blew my mind what happened. If you have a big pit bull, sir, you make sure it doesn't get loose because instead of attacking the dog, it could have attacked one of the children that was it playing in the front. never would have any child. It's around children. I have two babies at the house. You know how many times yeah. I read about that in the paper? Not this time. You want to know how many times I read about that in the paper? I trained my many, dog. How many times all these people have read about that and heard the same stupid remark? It's the first time it ever did it. Never did it. It's around my grandchildren. I let it babysit for my niece. <laughs> This is a photo of Pun, the pit bull, and two-year-old Edward. But things took a very scary turn for the worst today at the family's Anita Road home in Johnston when the pit bull attacked the child. A pit bull attacked its owner, then got free from its home. Yeah, two pit bulls on the loose in that incident, causing police to put an entire neighborhood on notice. Three-week-old baby dies after she was mauled by a pit bull. You see it on the news every day about these dogs, okay? You see it on the news every day about a dog. You see it on about kids. Is, okay, protect your kids. If you love them, you had them, you're going to protect them. Dayton police arrived at the 2200 block of Riverside Drive. That's where witnesses say a little infant boy died. The family dog at that location attacked an eight month old child, infant child, and caused the death of that child. They also say the pet was a loving animal and has never done anything like this. Tonight, they are being consoled by close family and friends. Meanwhile, the fate of the dog remains unknown. Police say animal resource officials will quarantine the dog. Following that, they will decide what should happen to the pit bull. The father arrived home this evening. He was desperate to get inside to his son, who police say was already deceased. Where a toddler was killed hours earlier. A mother's screams alerted the neighborhood. She was just screaming at the top of her lungs. That's why everybody opened their doors. Police say just after 1 p.m., a family pit bull of eight years mauled to death a two-year-old boy while the child's mother wasn't looking. The mother had gone to the restroom uh, when she came back out. Uh, her two-year-old son was clearly deceased. A Memphis mother tried her best to shield her two young children when their longtime family pets suddenly attacked. The mauling by two pit bulls, leaving both children dead and the mother in critical condition. The Bernards family and friends say 30-year-old Christy fought to protect her children as two of the family's pit bulls fatally attacked five-month-old Hollis Dean and two-year-old Lily last week. The family had reportedly owned the pets for more than eight years without any incident, but something happened. The attack lasted an agonizing 10 minutes, with Christy trying her best to shield the two children. Neither would survive, and Christy was left in critical condition. Family and friends of a young boy who was killed by three pit bulls gathered Thursday at the Camden home where he lived with his mother.
She was with him all day. They were outside. He was chasing them, the dogs. The dogs was chasing him. And she said, Kasa, mommy's gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. And she went and used the bathroom. Um, but, it, you know, leaving a child unattended, um, you know, with these dogs, even though this child evidently grew up with these animals. We so. just believe that maybe the dogs may have been agitated. Uh, it's the only thing that seemed to make sense. Like, they were agitated because some workers were there and the banging and, 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 and the noise and, and what have you was going on. A pit bull terrier mauled a family's three-day-old infant. San Diego police told 10 News the parents were in bed with their baby and dog watching TV. At some point, the mom coughed and startled the dog. The first thing the dog made eye contact with, their infant. And last night's storms may be to blame for a pit bull attack. 60-year-old Nellie Davis died when a pit bull in her apartment broke out of its cage in a frenzy in Malder. Battered, bruised, and hospitalized, a woman talks about the pit bull attack she survived. I had a dog who had a pit bull wrapped around my neck. A grandmother has been mauled. Her face is scarred, as you saw, and her mangled arms are wrapped in bandages. And her attackers weren't strangers. They were the dogs that live in her own home. Deputies say they are stunned. The powerful dogs didn't take her life. She was home alone with the dogs in their satsa house when she knocked a pillow from the couch and something set them off. I had a pit bull wrapped around my neck. Two recent pit bull attacks here in the valley are sparking debate about when it's appropriate to euthanize an animal involved in a violent incident. Yesterday, we told you about 77 year old Nancy Newberry, who was killed by her family's pit bull while she tried to give him a pill during feeding time. Then last month, a four year old was attacked and now faces months of reconstructive surgery. Police and animal control officers heaved to the body of a massive pit bull into the back of a County car. Cops say the dog mauled its 70 year old owner to death and feasted on her body in her own backyard. Dog that went rampant in my house and they started to attack its owner. Okay, is it your dog? Oh uh, no, it's the owner's dog and it's attacking her right now. It's killing her. It's killing her. Those were the words of Yasmin Adams' nephew as he called 911 when he returned to his Lauder Hill apartment Monday evening. Police say he found one of his aunt's pit bulls, a female named Lady, attacking her. She's screaming right now. It's shooting okay. her arm. On the recording, you can hear the screams and dogs barking. Then the nephew became frantic. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Hey, go! Hey, go! But the dog would not let go. This cell phone video shows Lauder Hill police using pepper spray to try and get the dog off of Adam. When that didn't work, an officer shot the dog and pulled Adam free. The wounded dog, we're told, was later euthanized, and the two remaining dogs were taken to animal care and control. Two people are recovering after an attack inside their car while driving down the road. The woman and her son were traveling with two small dogs and their pit bull inside this truck. Ran up her too. But June Lisby couldn't figure out what all the commotion was about. And what did you see when you got up to the vehicle? A lot of steamed up windows. Couldn't tell what was going on. Just then, the woman's son was able to get out. That's when June realized the two were being attacked by their own pit bull inside their white pickup truck while driving down the road. I knocked on the window and got the dog come after me, and then the young lady got out. And her whole shirt was just like covered in blood. Her arm was just like you couldn't even see the bone. The bone was gone. It was completely gone. Police say a dog turned on its owners. The husband and wife are recovering here at Temple University Hospital after what police are calling a pit bull attack them. Tonight, one family member stabbed the pit bull to death right here in their front yard after a vicious attack. He was the sweetest, sweetest dog ever. Family members can't believe Buster turned violent. I would have never in a million years thought that he, this would happen. We've learned tonight the dog repeatedly bit Heidi Cooper and her 14 year old daughter. Deputies calling this a vicious attack stopped only after another daughter stabbed Buster several times until he died. Devastated. They were literally devastated. Like, I know it's heartbreaking for them too because they never wanted, they would never want that to happen. The family who lives here says they've had the 12 year old pit bull since it was a puppy and trusted it around children. But today it attacked and killed a five year old boy. I was trying to help. We tried to get the dog and everything, but it was too late. All we did was step out for like two seconds. Mm -hmm. 
just to grab the controller for my net, my cousin to play the game. But she says when they walked back in that room, the dog had her little cousin by his neck and wouldn't let go. It hurts. It really hurts. She says the dog had never hurt anyone before, that she had just been playing with it earlier in the day. He was a loving dog. He was not a vicious dog. But how he snapped, we don't understand. The boy's cousin, well aware of the mixed emotions about the breed, had this to say after what she experienced. Don't trust pit bulls because they could change at any moment. A family is remembering their grandmother. 89-year-old Joan Caffiel, identified by her grandson, was attacked Tuesday morning by their pit bull. He did just speak to the daughter of the woman who was killed, and she explains that this dog was the family dog and never showed signs of being capable of something like this. And what happened came as a complete shock to the family. It must have snapped. That's the only thing I could think of. That dog slept with my mom every night, so I don't know what set that dog off. I don't know what happened. This was Lawton's pit bull terrier, Bruce. This week, Bruce attacked Lawton's mother, Suzette, and her boyfriend. I need a ambulance now. And it's your dog bite. A neighbor's frantic call to 911 shows the fear moments after the dog turned on Suzette Lawton for the second time in three weeks. It's real. It's, her arm is torn. The skin is hanging. Okay, and I can give you some instructions to help her, okay? I gotta go find out about the other person. Is the dog still loose, and what kind of dog is it? I don't know. Bruce was eventually put down, but listen as someone screams, kill the dog during the attack. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! There has got to be accountability for that. And that's why prosecutors decided to charge Lawton. When I talked to him earlier this week, he said he purchased a muzzle after the first attack, adding he and his mother decided to keep Bruce. You know, I just don't understand what I did. I just owned a dog and he messed up. My dog's paid for it now. I don't know what to make of it, but I know that was it on purpose. Heaven Astacio mourning the loss of her mom, Melissa, tonight. The 44-year-old mauled to death in her Somerset home Friday night, killed by her 8-year-old pit bull, Amigo. It never happened like that before. The incident is the second of its kind in Bristol County this year. A dog also killed a teenage boy in Dighton back in May, with town selectmen voting to euthanize it. The fate of Amigo, however, remains unclear. It was a mother and son who were attacked by their own dog, and police also say that dog happens to be a pit bull. This dog is described as a family member. It's five years old, raised as a puppy, and tonight it may have attacked the one person who loved it most. My pit bull attacked my wife for no reason. Family and friends told Weeks to get rid of the dog. Now he wishes he'd listened. And anybody got any pit bull to get rid of them because I never thought it would take my wife. That is something that a West Wego man thought he'd never have to say until Wednesday. That's when three of his pit bulls brutally attacked his wife inside of their home, severely injuring the woman and forcing police to shoot the dog. She responds to you now when you talk to her. She can't see you, but she, she'll shake her head. Yes or no. Clarence Allen talking about his wife, Linda Henry, who suffered severe injuries Wednesday when police say three of the family's four adult pit bulls attacked her inside the couple's Avenue A home. We treated these dogs like children. They never had a fight. They ate out the same bowls. I don't know what happened. The man who survived a pit bull attack. Sadly, his wheelchair-bound mother was killed. It happened on my watch. You know, it was something I brought into the house. Overwhelmed by grief and guilt, Joe Varnis is still struggling to figure out why the dog he adopted three weeks ago suddenly snapped. We were just trying to go to the bathroom and he just went berserk. I flipped the dog over, slammed him on the ground. That didn't help. He came back stronger. All right, um, I hit him with the leg of the wheelchair. <laughs> he didn't even phase him. I tried. I fell down on the floor. I tried, but I did get up, and I, that's when I started beating the dog, and to no avail. No avail. No signs of aggression before that? Never. Never. No signs of aggression. Joe tells me that it will be hard for him to trust another animal, especially a pit bull breed after all of this. The family tells me this dog is a five or six year old pit bull, which up until now hasn't been vicious to anyone. And deputies say it will stay here at the animal shelter until their investigation is over. My son could sit on him, lay on him, would never do anything to him.
Julie Wisman is still trying to understand why the dog she's raised from a puppy attacked and killed her mother in the backyard of the family's Madison Township home just after one on Monday afternoon. An elderly woman died a horrific death. A dog they adopted yesterday mauled their grandmother that same night. The woman was in her 90s. She died this morning at a hospital. The woman across the street in her 90s was attacked by a dog her family just adopted that day. Her granddaughter, Amber Patterson, says the one-year-old pit bull terrier pushed her grandmother to the ground and brutally attacked her for about five minutes. To know that she just adopted a dog and it turned out to be this vicious to her, that was very shocking. Patterson says her grandmother died at the hospital Thursday morning after several surgeries. Forever Home Rehabilitation Center, where they got the dog, said in a statement they are devastated over what happened and that the dog, Blue, passed his evaluations with flying colors before being adopted out to the Patterson family. A recently adopted pit bull terrier went on a rampage biting four people, and now that dog is scheduled to be put down tomorrow. We went to go and play with him, and something in him just switched. Like, I, I don't know what it was, but it just switched, and he, he went after my dad. He jumped on top of my dad and went after him, and I jumped on top of the dog. And I was trying to pull my dad's skin from under him. Then the dog turned on her. The scar is going to be there for the rest of his life. A scar that will cover most of a little boy's face. The attack happened here at a camper home just off Highway 30 in Pocatello. The father says his son went into the kitchen to talk to his mom, and the dog attacked. Nobody knows why. Now his son has a lot of healing to do. Two of the boy's facial nerves were damaged. He's going to have to do a lot of counseling, because he's going to be terrified. The poor four-year-old don't know what's going on when something like that happens. So it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of... A lot of counseling, a lot of love. But Greg has a message he hopes people will take away from his son's tragedy. Train your dogs to be nice dogs, to be loving dogs. We don't need any of that tough pit bull persona. 90% of people who get those dogs are trying to collect that image. A smiley six-year-old here, Camden Bozel, is showing off a missing tooth. And again, for school picture day. Literally, like, within a second, the dog went for his face. This is Cam now. His face is covered in stitches and has a broken nose and a fractured skull after he was attacked by a dog. I really didn't know until after he came out of surgery. Oh my God. And I seen his face and I was horrified. Cam's mom says she was at work when he was attacked by the dog while at his grandma's house. Completely unprovoked. Um, this dog has no history of aggression. He's used to being around loud, rambunctious kids. The dog is a pit bull, but Cam's mom says she doesn't blame the breed. And I love pit bulls too. I always have. Now when people are asking, you know, what breed, what breed he was, and I and I just don't want to answer them because I know that once I say pit it's a pit bull, I don't know, I guess I would just say to not trust your animals. And without a doubt, there's a long road ahead for this little boy toward healing. A three-year-old pit bull named Midnight. Well, she's nice. But around 4.30 in the afternoon, Midnight attacked the little boy, biting him, police say, in the face and neck. They were all just sitting in the living room, just, just uh, playing, and the dog just went after the two-year-old. Rescue crews had to fly the boy by helicopter to Johns Hopkins. It's shocking me right now. Investigators say the family owned the dog since it was a puppy, and there have been no previous incidents where it attacked anyone. I think that's what dogs do sometimes. That's what's really kind of shocking, is to think that midnight, no, she don't, never. Medics try to say little Riley. There's nothing they could do, absolutely nothing. When police arrived, Dodge told officers to shoot the dog. I was like, kill this dog, just, you know, shoot it down or I will. And he did, he shot it in the backyard. Dodge says he got the pit bull he named Remington from a friend last week. He only had it for five days. I was very cautious about it because I don't just bring random dogs into my home. Took my son over there and 
the dog didn't attack him. It loved him, gave him a hug, and licked him on the face, everything. Brought him here. My son come outside all day long and play with him. Didn't do nothing to him. And then I bring my daughter here two days, you know, prior to that, and then this happened. Dodge says there are so many things he will never forget about his daughter. I'd say her smile and uh, just everything. I mean, there's, there's just so much I could talk about, but I'm just too depressed right now to, you know, to talk much more, but. I, I mean, I just, I miss her so much. I seen the little girl flat on her back with the bite marks and part of her neck hanging off. And now she's not here. But I did not realize that they will be doing this. They're not vicious dogs. They're really nice dogs. They're gentle. I don't know what came over them. And we are still trying to get to the bottom of what could have possibly happened when a woman was mauled by her own pit bulls at an animal hospital. Via Fain was visiting her dogs. And in the backyard, they attacked. Uh, yes, we need um, an, an ambulance over here. And a dog attacked her owner. Via Fane died. Police describe the scene as a nightmare. A 16 month old girl was mauled to death by the family's pit bulls. A three year old little girl, a toddler, mauled to death by the family pet. Tonight, we hear that neighbors claim they've been afraid of the family dog, a pit bull. Police in Wilton still piecing together an awful story there tonight. They see a woman lost one arm and part of her other when her own pit bull attacked her. Said when he pulled up in the driveway, he actually found the 65 year old woman, Ann Murray, laying underneath this car, trying to defend herself, kicking, scratching, clawing, doing anything to try to keep that dog back. The officer determined that the dog was a danger not only to himself, to this woman, but to neighbors in the area. He had to end up shooting the dog, putting it down. However, you can see, as you look over here, you can see where they dragged her, rolled her over, and paramedics began treatment for the missing arm and other damaged limb. You know, the dog is part of the family, you know, and it's um, a, a family member turning on their own. It's, it's just a, it's an awful thing. Delhi Township police officer who shot and killed a pit bull mauling its owner. Not on your sides, Tom McKee is live with new details of what happened. Tom. Well, imagine running into a house and seeing a pit bull mauling its owner on the floor of a tiny, tiny kitchen. You only have seconds to act. I don't want emergency. I don't need to talk to Ms. Owner. A 17-month-old baby, Bella Ray Birch, died in hospital after a pit bull attacked her at her own home in St. Helens. Her parents had adopted the pit bull just a week ago, burst into the living room and bit her on the back of the head. A five-month-old baby has survived after being attacked by pit bulls in his home. My police officers in Greensburg, Indiana, say they've never seen anything quite like it. A woman loses her arm after getting attacked by her own pit bull. Tonight, News 5's Brian Hamrick has more about what happened when this dog snapped. The Williams family, who lives here in Greensburg, Indiana, has had this pit bull since it was a puppy. But something snapped in this dog, and what happened behind this fence, even veteran officers say well, they've never seen anything that gruesome. The city-run Animal Control Center insisting the dog was closely monitored for any aggressive behavior before the adoption, and they say they found no warning signs of this. Animal Care and Control had told her... He's not violent in any way. They said that. And anyway, yes, they said that. Just 24 hours later, this was Christine's 21-year-old son, Anthony, mauled by Jacks in the family's home, bite marks on his head, and his arm is so ripped up, we can't really show it to you. Terrifying. I thought he was dead. I thought he was going to die, my son. Blood all over his face because the dog bit him in the head, bit both his arms, I think he even bit his leg. In a statement tonight, Animal Care and Control said, based on Jax's previous owner's surrender notes, along with his behavior at the care center, there were no red flags that would indicate the potential for aggression. On Monday, May 10th at approximately 8.39 p.m., the Norwich Police Department and the Patrol Division responded to 36 McKinley Ave here in the city of Norwich for a dog attack. Upon arrival, officers discovered uh, that a one-month-old infant boy was attacked by the family's dog. Uh, the family's dog was a mixed-breed male pit bull mix. As a mother of two, the news of a four-year-old boy in her neighborhood being killed hits Crystal Huntley right in the heart. Well, I've got two kids of my own, so I know that I wouldn't even be able to stand right now if that happened to mine. Hillsborough deputies say young Logan Shepard, who a neighbor says is seen here in his mother's Facebook page, was with his mom, Stephanie Grolix. They walked from their house to his uncle's house a few blocks down on Rodine Road. 
Before Logan and his mother arrived, deputies say their uncle crated his two pit bulls. Deputies say while Logan was in the house eating ice cream, his mother and the others went into another room to talk. A few moments later, they heard screaming. When they ran out, Logan was gone. Uh, you know, I'm saddened any time a kid is taken needlessly by animals. Logan never even made it to the hospital. I don't want to see any kid have to go like that. Chanel Villarreal says her purebred pit bull, Oreo, wouldn't hurt a fly. Oreo, sit. Come on, sit. Good girl. Which makes what happened a few doors down hard to believe. I was shocked. Very shocked. Dallas police say two-month-old Braden Wilson was attacked by the family's pet. The child's father went outside to turn on the sprinkler system. When he walked back in, he found the pit bull mauling the baby in a bouncy chair. As the father tried to get the baby away from the dog, the baby's mother walked in. The dog bit her twice. The father grabbed the dog by the neck, dragged it outside, and shot it twice. Braden died at a hospital. I feel really bad about it. The dog attack happened here on Melrose and Pontiac Wednesday night. Oakland County Sheriff's deputies claim the dog was tied to a tree when a three-year-old that lives here and an eight-year-old neighbor kid were playing with a male blue-nosed pit bull in the backyard. This is a likeness of the dog deputies described as being a year old, purchased by the family three weeks ago from this neighbor living across the street. The man wishes to remain anonymous. There was nothing, when I had the dog, I had no problem with it. No violence, no, no, no showing teeth, no, nothing like that. The dog was never aggressive to you? No, not at all. The three-year-old boy received the brunt of the attack. Deputies report the child has severe bites to the head, neck, and face, and may lose his left eye. The boy facing multiple surgeries. The neighborhood eight-year-old has injuries to his hands after deputies say he tried pulling the pit bull off the toddler. Pit bull attacks his new owner in North Idaho just 24 hours after the man adopted the dog from Kootenai Humane Society. The man should be okay, but he lost nearly two pints of blood. Well, the attack happened inside this house. The man who lives here says he went to wake his daughter up this morning. When he opened her bedroom door, he says that's when the pit bull attacked him. Hi Dang showed us where the dog bit his hand, leg, and cut his head. Deputies say Dang was arguing with his 16-year-old daughter through her bedroom door. They say the raised voices caused the dog to become upset, and Dang says he was attacked in the living room. He says he tried to push the dog off of him, and his daughter even tried to restrain the dog. But he says it's very strong, and it wasn't even the first time he has been bit. I love him too, but he attacked me this third time. I don't want him coming back to my house. We are following just a tragic story tonight. A two-year-old has died after being attacked by a dog in Newman. I want to bring in our Mike Duffy because he's been following this story. So first, Mike, what do we know about this dog? Not a lot of details right now. Uh, we know that this dog is a pit bull, a mm -hmm. mastiff mix, and mm -hmm. it was the family dog. New at 11, the family dog turns on its owners. Even a knife and a taser couldn't stop him. The dog named Scarface wouldn't let go. Guerrero's husband, Ismael, tried pulling him off. No luck. Responding officers couldn't stop the dog either. They used beanbag rounds from a shotgun and a taser. But it took a tranquilizer dart from animal control to finally subdue the dog. A child is dead after he was attacked by a pit bull near Altoona. The Blair County coroner says a six-year-old boy died of blunt force trauma. A family spokesperson says a boy's mother heard screaming, then found the dog on top of him. The animal is now dead, and the family asked police to take a second dog from their home as well. A vicious attack. A 15-month-old was bitten, and um, the grandmother trying to help the child. Deputies say the family's own dog, a pit bull mix similar to this one, mauled a toddler and his grandmother. The grandmother and child had just got back from shopping. Deputies say that's when the dog, a stray the family adopted a month prior, attacked. Mole control officers take a pit bull into their custody after police say it attacked its owner inside this home on George Street in Dayton. It's my fault. I shouldn't have been yelling at her. We was fighting over the kid and she just dog just went crazy. Keisha Stroud is the victim's sister. She was home when the attack happened along with their mother and the victim's three-year-old daughter. Stroud says she was arguing with her sister when the dog suddenly attacked her.